Do you ever just like, I feel like just they fit so good in my palm. And I, I just, am always touching my toddies. I love, constantly. you know, defying gravity. You want to touch them? Mine do not defy gravity. Margo wants to touch them too. Here, Margo, you want to touch? Can you touch my titty? Touch the titty. Mm. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. I'm Megan Tonchus, and we this are here is. We're to give you all things fuckworthy, and this is Margo. Margo uh, has now demanded that her name be included. Producer Margo. She won't let me put her down. So yeah. this is how it is. She's like per she's dog purring. She is dog purring. It's it's her trying to breathe. Sure. All this fluid in her lungs. Sometimes I choke on my own saliva. You know, I choke on some things. <laughs> What are you here for today? Oh, that's a great question that you posed. Oh, I'm here for TikTok. I mean, I haven't quite set up an account. Mm -hmm. um, we got to I don't wanna get into it, but basically I had a Musical.ly account, never transferred over, and so now I'm fucked. But what I do appreciate about TikTok is that the kids are teaching things. Like for instance, I watched this TikTok the other day that's teaching you how to fix a flat tire. Oh shit. No one in my life has ever shown me how to fix a flat tire. I, I'm certainly not my father, certainly not any of my parents, certainly not anyone. There are things that I've read, but I am a visual learner. I need to see it happen. And this person on TikTok shows you how to do it. Although there were some comments and responses to it where maybe some things weren't correctly, like maybe you shouldn't put your legs under the car. Oh, um, while well, it's, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, you know, flip flops, uh, just doing his thing. And so, you know, take note right. of that. But I do appreciate that there are things that I would like to know how to do that I'll still never do, but you know, it's nice to know, um, being taught on the TikTok. So an educational platform, if anything. Yeah, I feel like maybe there should be like a financial TikTok or like someone to teach us how to make money in the oh stock market. Oh my God. Yeah, I saw one the other day that uh, Dan sent me, my manager, about, um, I don't even know, Roth IRAs. I have no idea, like percentage mm. something. But I was just like, this is fascinating. Like what a, what an interesting way to have both memes and education. We love an educational meme here at What the Sweet Fuck. If anything we try to do is to teach the youth. I'm here for the cutest story ever. This lost dog reunited with its owner 12 years later and like states apart. Oh I think God. the owner was from Florida and then the dog was found in Pittsburgh. Okay, so well, I got questions about you know, how, how, how the dog get. Uh, microchip. Oh, oh the how, dog how the lost? dog got. So she thinks that she, um, the dog jumped into someone else's car. I don't, who knows how the dog got there. What kind of lassie episode is this? So there's like a little video. Oh. Does the dog cute. remember her? He must. So the dog was two years old. Okay. When uh, her son opened the door accidentally and it like ran out and 12 years later, the dog oh. is 14 now. Oh my God. They checked the microchip because I guess, I don't know, he, he got out again and um, the Humane Animal Rescue Center, whatever this is called. Aww got him and then contacted the owner and I just- Oh my God, imagine getting that call that they're still alive. And she paid for the microchip like $15 a year, every year, just Aww. in hopes that like, you know, one day someone would find Aww, him. Oh, that's so cute. That's such a good little story. Yeah. Now she, is she taking him? I think it's safe to say she is taking her back. Although there's probably someone that owned this dog for the past 10 years. Yeah, and then got, Ooh, got lost again. Ooh, that's complicated. So today I want to talk about just a true fact. Love a true fact. Um, because this is something true about both of us, oh, no. all of our friends, and everyone we know. One in We're six poor. millennials have pocketed $100,000 in savings. <laughs> uh, resurfaced Bank of America survey shows. <laughs> And I just, I want to know who did they survey? One in who, six. Hello, fellow millennials. I need, I, yeah. Who of us, need, who of we? I need to know. If we shall. I need to know. Has $100,000 just laying around. 
Maybe they mean out of the thousands of people they interviewed, collectively, all of us have a thousand together, a hundred thousand together in savings. Did they just go door to door in Beverly Hills? Did they, I wanna know, who did they ask? They interviewed at least 500 people <laughs> and all of us They together. went to like a, a private school, yeah. you know, for tennis. I don't know what was going on here, okay? CNBC reported this, and it says, here's how much you should have at every age. Okay. Oh, well, I'm about to fail this test. So apparently at age 30, you're supposed to have like your full, whatever you make in a year. Well, you'd have, you'd have to consistently make the same amount every year. So I've never experienced that. Right. Are we talking so about the years where I've made nothing when, or the years where I made like it's 70? at that time. Thousand. So like at your, like when you are turned 30, okay. how much is your yearly income? That's how much you should have saved. You don't have that one. And then it doubles like every five years. So it's like you should have double that when you're 35. You should yeah. have three times that when you're 40. Um, I just started an Acorn Roth IRA account and there's about $1,100 in it. So the one month when I'm old enough to retire that I can pay rent is going to be four times your annual, annual salary saved at 45, five times when you're 50, six times when you're 55, seven when you're 60, and eight times yeah. when you're 65. Compound interest on that bench. Just imagine. I can't imagine I'm having $100,000 in an account somewhere, just waiting for me to turn 55 and use it. I would, How does one? I'd be more motivated to live. <laughs> How? Honestly. Like, because right now I'm like, wait, so I have to just make enough to pay for this life now. I just gotta, I gotta have home and food, right? And whatever other bullshit I gotta do, student loans and, and medicine, blah, blah. And then I also have to be preparing for the life that I may or may not have in my 50s, 60s, and 70s, which probably will all be in a hospital. Fascinating, fascinating. Not only that, but this is like the, what's it called? Recommended articles that are suggested here. One says, I saved 300,000 by age 26 and doing these five unusual things helped me save like crazy. Yeah, it's the first you know unusual, what's unusual thing. Making three hundred thousand dollars extra to save what well it's not unusual when you come from generational wealth and you've never had to pay for your own student loans or exist outside oh of your fucking God. family so i can't imagine i gotta find out what this girl's job is she says she did it by avoiding wasting money but how do you make it Making the money is the important part. Whatever, that, it's trash. When people come out and they're like, just don't drink coffee every day from Starbucks, and then you'll finally save whatever. Listen, <sighs> oh. Most of us come into the world and have to go out and, and make it for ourselves. So we don't have this whole backtrack of money that we can just rely on. That, you know, I don't come from a family that it was like, they chipped in to buy me a house. You know what I'm saying? Or like, uh, none of that. So. It is what it is. I just, but I think when I hear people talk about that, like if you just, if you just stop buying makeup you don't need, you could have three hundred thousand dollars too, and it's like, mm, no, bitch, like you can't account for health issues that someone has, what other family members they're helping out, their circumstances, their schooling, none of that. So I don't want to hear about money from anyone ever again, unless it's specifically, hey, you're getting a direct deposit of this much money. That's the only time I want to hear about it. <laughs> other than that. I can appreciate um, on some level I can't. that this article could help potentially some percentage of the population. Yeah, other rich you know? people. But like to say that this is just like an easy average way to go about your finances. These are her tips. Stay in hostels with up to 15 people per room. Okay. And that's fine. I bought a used car and sold it for profit. Shared a 700 foot square, I mean square foot apartment with my partner. Okay, so I gotta be in a relationship now in this world and I gotta, I gotta be on top and of And plus someone. this is just, if you are in a relationship, eventually you will probably move in together. This is not a, like a, a tip, you know? Um, Wait, go back up. Yeah. They were living in a apartment for 1335 a month. In Portland. And then they realized they didn't need that extra 300 square feet of space. Oh my gosh. Okay. Switch I want to know without all the right qualifications. I want to know what is the student debt? What did your parents take out for you? Did you like I I used to I have questions. Pick up a side Picked hustle. Pick up a side hustle. Bitch, it's just like 
Here's... I, I think things like that, of course it's a white girl, uh, the things like that completely ignore the reality of most people and most Americans especially. And I think she, like, people like this girl, they don't have that experience and probably everyone in their circle, mm -hmm. like, this is their reality. Yeah. So it's like, oh, what do you mean? It's easy. I'm much more likely to listen to someone that's like, look, I legitimately was homeless. And this is how I piece by piece right. managed to get to this spot. I'm more likely to, to listen to that and be like, okay, I can take something from this than someone that's like, well, I've always had money and I've never struggled. Uh, so I don't know, like when I go on vacation, sometimes I stay in a hostel because it's real cute or like, you know, I just cut down and have like, no. I mean, she no. says like she worked as a babysitter when she was 12. That's somehow Probably for her, for her parents, other rich friends. Um... I mean, we. I don't. I don't know if she's like rich, like, by her parents. She could be, but like, she's but describes she's not... her jobs, like. Okay. And mm. that she like got a job that's sixty five thousand a year plus a ten thousand dollars signing to bonus. cover. The this is tuition. not everybody's experience. I did have some help from my parents and was able to graduate debt free. Oh my God! Imagine landed an internship that paid, which, by the way, a lot of internships don't pay. The world and went specifically into the tech world. It's a different. So her par her parents do yeah. do have money. Yeah, absolutely. Then I immediately started saving a large chunk of my spa my salary, spending only twenty thousand per year while living in Portland. If my parents paid for my college, I mean, I. I was lucky enough to be living at home rent free. Yeah. You know, like that was my, like, I didn't have to pay for shit, which I took for granted for my real parents, long. My parents took out some loans and we co-signed some loans together and I'm, I'm still paying my own loans off for, for school and why. Ooh. Whatever. It just, it's one of those things where like, that's the reality for her and that's cute and great, but it only applies to a certain tax bracket. You can't just say that it's like attainable. What I will say is that there are definitely apps that if you are looking to save a little bit of money, I was just talking about Digit. Um, mm -hmm. I use Acorns. Acorns. Capital with a Q. Yeah. I haven't used Capital full on yet, but I, I do love Digit. I, that just takes a little bit of money out of your account every day that you can say how much you want. I'll put our links in the thing if you, if you want to check, check it out. out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. probably having all three is, why not? Yeah. It like takes your spare change and saves it so you don't even realize that it's going. Yeah, it rounds it up and things like that when you make purchases. And so that's helping a little bit. Like I just saved up like enough money to just like make like a nice little, uh, small, small little mm -hmm. chunk that I took out of some right. debt, but um, it's helping. But I mean, again, if, if any, all of us, I would say most people that I know, are one month away of not getting paid from being f completely fucked. Mm -hmm. So it's just a reality that does not exist for me. I can't wait for the day that it does. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But uh, you won't hear me in articles say, just like go stay in a hostel when you go on Never. vacation. Never. No. Oh my god. I don't want any of that advice. Like just. It's really like vacations. I wish that people could have like an experience that grounds them. Mm -hmm. I feel like even when talking about like working in like, I don't know, retail, like I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of people haven't worked in retail, so they don't know how to treat people who work in retail. And mm -hmm. like even stuff like that, it's just like people ignorant of the reality for most people. Yeah, that's true. Um, and just a little, just a touch out of touch. Just a touch out of touch. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. I was going to say, I don't have anything to add to that besides the fact that if anyone has an extra $300,000 laying around, um, you can send it directly to Megan Tonjes. <laughs> I will list my cash app below. We will bill. absolutely accept a $300,000 patron if you'd like to join patreon.com slash what the sweet Bitch, for $300,000, you'll be the other co-host. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll Skype you in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, we'll just, we'll just get a quick reaction from you. Yeah. I gladly. Gladly. Can't wait. Uh, I, I, I wish that I found this earlier because this is something I need to use more regularly. This is me. Uh, I, I am, am rich. rich. This is how I feel when I have, when I've paid rent and I still have enough money to get Postmates. I don't know why my things aren't showing up today. Is that rocks? No. Oh. I'm like, is he about to jump into rocks? Well, I'm supposed to jump it off. This would fucking hurry up. <laughs> Why?
Why? Why? <laughs> this is my internet saying, fuck you, bitch. What, did you just hear my... I did. Wow, that was... It was angry and then it wasn't. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. That's me jumping into money. Oh, that's... I don't know if that is money, but... I know, but it does look like it. Wow. I mean, it might be because I put in the word rich. Yeah, no, I think it is because this is shooting money. That's the kind of wow. that's the kind of rich I'm trying to be. Wow. That's like this is how I feel when I have ten extra dollars to put in my Starbucks account. Listen, I'm telling you right now, um, if I ever become rich, and I've already said this a million times, I will be disappearing from the, the lives of my loved ones. Um, you can reach out all you want. That number is disconnected, except for maybe mm. on the off chance that I'm like yeah, I'm high and I'm bored and I use that as a way to just like reach out. But mm -hmm. I will be sending lavish Christmas presents, but you will have no return address. I will be sending uh, lavish gifts to the children of my enemies just because I like a little chaos. Um, I'm like a vindictive Santa Claus, but that's those mm -hmm. are my life goals mm -hmm. and plans because I just, and then occasionally I'll like send out, there'll be like a special invite, right? For like the first like 10 people that I send it to that are that I like. I don't even know if I know like 10 people. And limited. Uh, limited. You have a limited amount of time, so check your email. And it'll basically be like, you click into it and it's like, section off these two weeks, get ready, here's your plane ticket, and then you will be shuttled aboard a jet, and the jet will bring you to me, to a location, none of you will know where it is. Undisclosed. Maybe an island that I own of some kind, and mm -hmm. you will hang out with me for the two weeks that I require social attention, mm -hmm. and then I will send you back. And that, that sounds great. I'm into that. Like, we all have a home. I know where you live. I will get you when I require you. And um, mm -hmm. that's what I need. That's what I'm trying to do. Tanja's terms. Tanja's terms. Tanja's time. You know who's worth all of our time? I don't know about all of our time, but definitely a good amount of it. These BBs. Martine Hebert, love of my life. I just want to let you know that you're a badass. Say it. Thank you so much. I just want to remind you to hell with the hustle, because that's where you live. Joan of Arcadia, I just want to let you know that it's the little things, like your credit card number. Thank you so much this month, BB. Elijah la 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 Lenahan, one of our lolas. Thank you for becoming one of our BBs. I never meant for this to happen, he said in a ragged, desperate note. But it has, she said, not sure whether that was cause for regret or joy. You're my joy, Lemon. My sweet joy. Heather Snitch for Lloydies. Just a simple reminder that everything is fucked. <laughs> Except for you. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> we want to give a thank you and a to Alexandra Eels. Ooh, I who would not swim in a bucket of eels, but I would pour them over Nikki. Then I'd love it. The squirmy. Mm of it all. Wyatt Eaton. Wyatt Eaton out my goddamn heart. <laughs> Jordana Cordovi. Jordana uh, Brewster Cordovi. Someone in the comments was like, I think you're con you're confusing Punky Brewster and Jordana Brewster. Oh. And so, Got it. I love the faculty, so I get it. Katie Golden. Katie Golden, uh, snitch ass. Golden Harry, child. Harry Potter, yeah. I'm just making connections, <laughs> but yes, you're a little gold baby. Um, Marjolaine. Christian Arado Garcia. Christian, listen, I love names that talk about the Lord, you know? And Margo is my Lord. Thank you for being a Patreon, BB. Chelsea oh. Gleason. Chelsea uh, Glee was a show that existed, and um, Nikki is my son. Liam Trennell. <laughs> well, I want to play a little Liam Trennell. Brandon Hughes. Brandon, I love the hues of your soul. Catwater Flame. Oh my God, just, I mean, what can we possibly say about Catwater Flame that hasn't been said? No, there's nothing else to say. Jessica True Blood Riddle. Jessica, Eric and Sookie fan fiction is life, True Blood Riddle. Sammy Sue. Sammy Sue Sosa. Devince Avarado. Devince, pay me like one of your French girls, Avarado. Lawrence Colden. Lawrence, it's cold in here. You know there might be some astros in the atmosphere. Sebastian Whitaker. Sebastian under the sea Whitaker. Roberto XS. Roberto 3XL XS. AJ Avacia. AJ, I just want to talk to you about Jesus. Avacia. Tamara Moongraves. Tamara, the only bitch that cares about me, Moongraves. Sam Brodor. Sam, it's too much, Brodor. Evan Blue. Evan, I'm blue without you. Stephanie. 
Chelsea Strong. Chelsea Strong, I'm going to my heart. Pam Gagos. Pam, I want to talk to you about your Lord and Savior. And William Margo. Harvey. And William say no shit Harvey. We also want to give a thank you to all the BBs you see on the screen and the BBs you don't see who are ghost BBs who we have a special message for Ooh, today. Oh, we do. Okay, this is a little unprecedented, but we, we needed to give an extra special thank you to all the ghost BBs today. Yeah. And because just, And just like your patronage, it's 30% off of zeros. <laughs> thank you BBs for joining us. If you'd like to join us in the afterlife, please join. How do I, how many times can I say join? Patreon.com slash what's we fuck. We like you. We appreciate you. You can find me most places at Silently Awake. You can find me Megan Tonjes, and there's also a video on my channel if you want to check it out. Yeah. And there's also so many other videos. Like there's playlists, you know? We have so many episodes. We got extra clips on Patreon. There's so much of us. Just, wow. you won't go hungry is what we're trying to say. You'll never go hungry with me. Dive in.